Carl's gone off for a big walk with Nookie Monster and my daughter. So I'm steam cleaning these. Well, I'm actually doing it with a Vax, but the Vax thing sprays everywhere. So I might just use my bottle of spray. Do it that way. Yesterday I made these covers for the headrests. I ordered four covers off Amazon. So if they never fitted, I could send them back. The ones you use on your dining chairs, they actually fit the seats on a tall, but if you take the headrest off, four covers, obviously I only need to cut the other two up to make these headrest covers. I had to hand sew it because the sewing machine wouldn't go through the fabric. So it took twice as long as it should have done. And I also made that curtain. I'm going to make the one for that window. I'll show you from the other side. And there you go. So originally I'd done it with a black wall, but you could see straight through. And I actually wanted it so that the window's covered up and you can't see where the bathroom wall ends and the curtains hanging. I think it looks a mess. So I thought if I put that up, it's all blacked out. But because the wall was too thin, I bought a navy single sheet from Tesco for £6.50 and I've cut that up, stitched it round, sewed them together so it acts like a lining. Gives you a bit more privacy as well. Just got to make the other one. We ain't filmed for a couple of days, have we? No. Too busy. Oh, yeah, all oh, night yesterday and the weather was crap so Carl hardly got anything done. No, no. We'll be back on it today. What are you doing then, Mr B? Making a mount for this, your table stand, which uh, I've done. Because originally it was behind this shelf, but I'd rather keep the space for other stuff. So we moved it, don't we? Yep. Got a spare leg anyway, haven't we? Yeah, we have, and a spare table. Ellen wants me to put some carpet in this cupboard. I'm going to try and do all that. The panel there, the bottom panel, and the floor. Ellen said it's got a churchy, oldie smell. It's got a funny smell. Don't know what it smells like. So, I've got some leftover carpet. Let's see what we can do. All the carpet has been done. The bottom matches the outside. This panel has been done. That shelf has been done. I've left that alone. Not much wrong with that one. So, that will do me. I'm gonna clean the rest of the blind. Them bits over there. And that rancid one there and then that can go up today hopefully as well and there's little old newbie who's a pooly boy again chewing on a toy made him ill knows he's bad again got a pooly leg again falling apart ain't you okay so i'm gonna take him out now What you doing, Oggs? Fixing this clip. Oh, the clips for the blinds that we ordered. Yeah. Cost me bloody eight pound postage. Yeah, and one was broke. For six quid worth of clips. Yep. So Wasn't broke, you broke it. No, they're, they're slightly too fat for the tube. And then the first one I tried to push down the tube snapped off. All the other ones I fold down a bit to make them a bit smaller. I didn't know with the first one, did I? No. So, all the other three are on, it's just this one I'm going to have to drill from behind. So I'm lining it all up and it's going to drill and I'll put a small screw in from behind. Yeah. You can get the other blind up then, can't we? Yep. I've got to clean the carpety bits when you've worked out where they go. Yeah, I know. I can't remember. Because we can't remember if they go on before the blind stuff or after. Or with, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know it was a pain to get them off, so I just can't remember. But... As I'm putting them on, I'll figure it out. Yeah, okay. While well, Walt Cole's busy doing things on the van, 
we are making curtains. But first of all, I've got to iron the fabric to get it looking better. And me being me, see, I'm left handed. Well, because my mum was right handed, I've always ironed with my ironing board and everything plugged in on the right with my ironing board pointing that way and then I iron like that so I see what my mum used to call me Caggy Caggy handed my daughter don't believe in having a proper ironing board Dinner boy. So I'm going to iron this and then I can stitch it together. Then do the same with the lining and then sort it out. These are just like walls that I bought and I cut the bottoms off if you remember and made those little curtains for the top. And then this is the rest of it for the money. Well, for the cat anyway. Well, I've stitched my two walls together. I've stitched my lining fabric together. Now I'm pinning the outside fabric onto the lining. And then, because I've got no room, I'm going to use edge of the table as I can set square so I know I'm getting it all level. So what I did with the other one, it turned out okay. There you go. Cab curtain all done. Just gotta fold it up, put it away properly. Everything's being stashed in the kids' bathroom at the minute. Today I am going to try and fit the fly and blackout screen that goes around here. That's the screen in sections, four sections, but they come with these that go around them. Now I can't remember if I took them off first or them first or together, but I think they come together. And I'm sure I have got to remove this panel. So first thing I'm going to do is unscrew this big panel, get rid of it, and then start putting things together. I've taken the panel down. Try and see what I can do now. The bottom sits into there. Two screws on either side. And the top one will fit behind the panel onto there. I can get to the screw holes now this panel's down. So I'm going to screw the top one up first, get the sides in and then connect it to the bottom, screw the bottom in and then I'll see where these trims go. So let's get this done first. Both sides are done, top and bottom are on. The top fly screen comes down and goes up and the bottom goes up and locks into position and comes back down nicely. The trims, these are the side trims. Got one that fits in there, just fills that void. And the same with the other side. So I'm going to get them on and then figure out where the big one goes because I still can't remember where it goes. So side ones first and then I'll sort the big one out. The other piece of wood sits against this but you have to put them both up at the same time because the screw holes go through the mountings for the piece of wood, a bit daft. But that's up now so I'm going to finish putting all the screws up in this and then I'm done. So let's get going. Last job.
There's the blind all up and working. If I zoom out. Got curtains up. I've been making them today. Took me a fair few hours. And I covered that with leftover fabric. That is actually a part of it when you put it together as a double bed. But I'll probably use it as a pillow. Just goes down there. Looks better than that fabric anyway. I think it's nearing completion. I've ordered covers for the chairs off Amazon. You can see the stretchy all along the edge. So this one will fit on here but it won't fit on the back because the back is smaller so I'm going to have to cut this up modify it to make it smaller that's the armrest I'm going to see if I can make a cover for that out of excess fabric when I finish making the back and then this bit's a funny shape as well so I'm going to have to try and make something for this Bit of a pain, but I'll do it. Done the armrest one. Just got the others to do. Then I can put them away till the rest of the van's done. Now I'm going to be fitting the Wi-Fi and the USB charge points. Charge points are going to be going there. The Wi-Fi will go on the wall there with a magnetic pad. These are the wires off the roof from the antenna. They'll go into the Wi-Fi and then the Wi-Fi will be powered off the USB port, which is going to be there. That's the Wi-Fi all connected up and done. It is connected using a magnet and a metal plate. The USB port is all wired in. You've got two ports, one port for the Wi-Fi and one port is going to be for the Echo. The Echo is going to be fitted up here with a bracket that I got off eBay. So let's get that done first and then I'll show you when it's all done. That's the Echo all finished. I have put the bracket up and run the power wire between the two panels, run it all the way down the back and plugged it into the USB port. The good thing about this USB port, this is wired straight to the ledger battery. So the Wi-Fi and the Echo will be on all the time, even if the power is turned off in the van. That way she'll get all the notifications and the Wi-Fi will work all the time. She needs the Echo because she needs notifications and reminders. So let's go and show her and she'll show you how it works. So there you go, Ellen, all done for you. Is my Wi-Fi on? It is, yeah. What well, have I got no screen on there? You've pressed the button on the side. Well, I've got to turn it off. No, just touch it. Oh, oh shit. She broke it already. I haven't broke it. Oh, what's it stuck to? It's a magnetic. Is that magnetic fixed? Yep. Ah, oh, okay. So I don't know how much data I've got left, any? No, no. Well, that's how I've got irritating messages. Yeah, I know, but you can't get them off without changing the thing. Well, what are they going to be? Don't know. Probably hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our network. Yeah, because yeah, because it only does what sits anyway, doesn't it? Yep. Okay. So, and there you go, and there's your echo that you have changed the name to Ziggy. Oh look. Yeah. I didn't hear that. Please try that again. Ziggy, what time is it? It's seven twenty six PM. There you go. Ziggy, what day is it? Today is Tuesday the 9th of May. So, there you go, you got your Echo, or Ziggy. Yeah. <laughs> Pain in the head, man. Yeah, well, no, hmm, I've got to remember that. I don't that. know that one. Oh, sure. <laughs> Ziggy, are you dumb? I'm always interested to hear how I can improve. 
Try hmm. saying, I have feedback. No, you won't. No, no. Okay then. And then we've got my Wi-Fi, haven't we? Yep. Which was my mega bargain. I know. Tell everybody about your bargain. My mega bargain was off Amazon. £99.99, wasn't it? It was, yep. And it's a data-only SIM card. You get 80 gigs a month. Um, it renews every month and it doesn't run out until July 2025. So it will last for two years for 100 quid. Which but is good. It's about well, less than a pound a week. Yep. So bargain, I think. Yeah, and I'm on the same network and mine yeah, is... Yeah, it's on three and you can only use it in the UK, but I'm not planning yep. on going out the UK, so it don't bother me. Yeah, same as mine is £10 for 60 gig a month. So yours is a hell of a lot better. Yeah. Exactly. Mine's a pound a week, less than that, because I've got over two years left on it. Yep, so if you want to look 20, at it... 26 months I've got. You're going to put the link in, ain't you? Yeah, and I got it off Amazon, yeah, and I was just Googling SIM cards and it came up and I thought, oh, I'll have a look. Yeah. Bargain. Yep, and it? we have checked the reception here. It's not bad, really, is it? Yeah, I can get it on it in the house, can't I? Yeah, I know. I can get on that, on that network, from in the kids' living room, can't yeah. I? And you can't get on mine, and mine's 5G. Yeah, two. and then when I'm in the motor home on the night, and I put the Wi-Fi on, it don't connect to the one in there, because it's crap, connects to that one. Good, you can use your I data. Because I always said that that was better you than did. the new one you bought. Yeah. But... I just want, I wanted to be a snob and have 5G. Yeah. Yeah, which ain't that good, really, is it? Yeah, I know. No, that works better. So there you go, all done, innit? All done. Got me echo up while me ziggy. There you go. More reactive than that one in there, I know. Mm, probably. probably. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a month. Just looking at my batteries. 13 volt. Bang on 13. Not that bad because it's been quite grey and crappy yeah. and thunderstormy today. The solar panel is doing quite well, I think. On there. Yeah. Quite impressive, it. Yeah, because you've got the new top solar panel on it, yeah, so lucky you. I know. Good, any? It? it is. There's my cooker there. That looks all right, actually, eh? Painting your cooker, getting the chips out. Yeah. You haven't been messing with it, have you? No, I haven't touched it. Stinks out, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Getting there, ain't we, Oaks? We are, very slowly. What else has got to be done? Inside, not a lot. No, just got to put the chair covers on. Yep. I've cleaned the cooker, I've cleaned the grill. Put your cups. Got to get all my stuff back in. Clean the sink. All got to make the curtains from over there. That's about it, any? Yep, and then start putting stuff in. Yep. And then you've just got your bits and bobs on the outside, haven't you? Yep. Which is not a lot. Well, because Nucky's been a poorly boy, we haven't been able to get a lot done, have we? No, nothing at all. No. Not good at the minute. He's about that much better. Yeah. And a little old cripple boy, ain't he? He is at the moment. We're getting him a wheelchair, we will. Yep. Can't see a wheelchair <laughs> in here. No, I know. Oh god, definitely not. No. Right then. Right. We'll leave it there. Yeah, we will. So. Boy. <laughs> and it's a boy from me. Boy. Oh, <laughs>